Thursday morning, Capital Extra Breakfast. It's your boy Robert Bruce in the building. And right now in the studio, I've got someone who first graced our screens on Love Island. And since then, he's done an absolute madness. I'm talking tracks with Hardy Crapio. We've got Young Bane in there, French Montana in there. If I'm just dropping a few names. <laughs> he's also tackled the big screen as well. Ice skating, SAA camp, Crystal Maze. All for your entertainment. He is live in the flesh. Where's Nelson, everybody? That's good, that's good. <laughs> you okay? I'm good, man. What are you telling me, man? I'm good, I'm good. Just excited. New singles out. Feeling of course. Good. Feeling but you should have told me I would have brought my sunglasses the way that the chain is shining in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't embarrass me now. <laughs> Just... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, man. Uh, it's good, it's good. The track is finally out as well. Yeah. Talk to me about the song. Oh, uh, bro. So I wrote this song back in like 2019, early 2020. Um, we've been sat on this one for a, a minute. I've been sat on a lot of tracks, but um, yeah, this one was very early on. Probably the first five songs I ever wrote, mm. and I've done hundreds since. Um, but yeah, um, obviously it was with French Montana. Uh, went out to New York, filmed a music video. Wow. Got in touch. Got it cracking. Now we've got a banger together. It's a bit, it's, it all happened really, really quick, quite organically. And yeah. It's all surreal. Now so you here. wrote this one in that sort of lockdown period when you were testing that stuff. Yeah. So it's one of the early ones. Yeah, this is early, early Wes. <laughs> this is early Wes. But you know what? It's it's still stand, like, we've revisited it, obviously, and and done di bits and pieces, made the production, moved things up a bit, revocaled a couple bits. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's an old one, but nice. It's an it's, yeah, it's a nice new one. And how did you connect with French? How did that journey happen? Um, so we was just talking. I was talking to the producers at ADP and Ebenezer. Big shout out to them, by the way. Um, about who we'd like on the track, and we was throwing some names about, and then I was like French, and we all looked at each other and was just like. <laughs> French, <laughs> French, um, but no, um, we reached out and then within a couple of days, like literally he'd sent the track, uh, sent his wow. verse back, boom, 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 the whole thing was done. And it was it was so quick and so organic, it, that's what felt, made it feel so much better. And the fact he's obviously in the video as well, it's not like he's just thrown a, a, quick a verse, verse from, out. Yeah. from 2012 and just gone, <laughs> right, take that. Um, like he's he's fully fully committed to the track and and that's good. He's been posting it. We're we're happy. We're happy indeed. We're man. Happy. Some of the lyrics on the track, baby, tell me where we can go and we can fly away anywhere you want, girl. You can roll with me. Yeah. Where would you like to go in the world if you can go anywhere right now? Where and, would it be and why? Anywhere right now. Yeah. Um, I'd go to Bifa right now. Is it? Yeah. I've seen a lot of <laughs> madness is going on in Bifa right now. <laughs> And I'm really jealous because <laughs> I'm in I'm in I'm in release mode now. So um, yeah, it's I've, I've already asked the management. I'm not. In fact, I've not even bothered to ask him this yeah. time around. Like, I've asked him on every other release. Can I go here? Can I go there? And it's just a no. Um, so I, I know if I went now, we, we wouldn't get any good release yeah. content. We'd get nothing. Yeah, I'd go missing for a couple of weeks. We need an IB for booking agent. Book West for some shows so he can be there on work. Please. Yes, please. Yeah, let's do that now. In fact, yeah. <laughs> What a, why did I think of this, Rob? <laughs> why did I not think of this? Get me on the team, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> What's keeping you inspired when making music, though? Um, for me, it's it's anything that's going on in my in my life, and I'm, I'm, and it's sort of it's really f reflected in my music. So now I'm doing a lot of '80s synth stuff, like neon synth things, and. Okay. Uh, in fact, like uh, you know, what's mad? I forget that no one's heard all the yeah. things that I haven't done, and what I've put out is pretty similar-ish, um, but. What I've been working on for the past year, year and a half even, like, has not been heard yet. And, okay. and it's on a different direction. But yeah, there's been a lot that's happened in my life over the past year and a half year, um, including breakup, including this, that, and the other. So yeah. yeah. All including of that. breakup, what happened? That was recent. That was quite recently. Ooh. Well, a couple of months ago, maybe. How'd you handle breakup? All right, man. Look yeah. at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sh still shining. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Can't keep a good man down. No, I hear you. <laughs> no, I no, hear no. You. Um, no. Honestly, I'm I'm good with breakups. It wasn't it wasn't like a, a bad one in that sense. So, yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm here now. You're here now. Do you know what I mean? We're gonna hear it in the music as well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, but you get you get inspiration from everything. Things that happen in your life. I think even lockdown it, it forced us to sort of look into ourselves and as, as well. Like, we couldn't go out and about, we couldn't yeah. go to here, we couldn't go there. So intrinsically and like internally, like you get a lot of inspiration from what your thoughts are, what's going through your head when yeah. you're sat in your room doing nothing. I hear you, <laughs> Do right? You know what I mean? You got the end of store? Cheese! 
They end up so. This tour is going to be crazy. You know? It's going to be nuts. Do you Seven, know how many days you're doing? 17. 17? 17 arenas, man. Arenas, just like that. Arenas, you see? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just take a minute. No, do you know how mad that is though? It's crazy. Like for real. And and for me it's 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 super, super important for me because I think a lot of people have seen that I can now I can sing on track, I can sing mm -hmm. this and that and the other, but not many people have seen me live. do it live. Yeah. But when they do see me well, I went on my, a mini tour earlier this year and seeing people's reactions to when I actually vocal everything in the flesh, without backing, without this and the other, people are like, what? Like yeah. people don't expect it and I like that. So even if I can take five to ten percent of the people that are in there, I mean, I'm acting like that's not thousands <laughs> of people, um, to, to just look at me and go, Okay, okay, I never expected that, that's elite. Yeah. Then I'll be happy. I feel like that's sort of the story of your musical career. Everyone's been like, Can he do this though? Is yeah. he doing it's it? It's like, like I'm though? constantly you... proving myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've but we have. <laughs> well, 1.2 billion streams now Humbly speaking We love it We love it <laughs> Tell me this yeah N-Dubs tour Dappy or Phaser Someone doesn't make it To one of the shows And they say Wes we need you to come And be one of the members Of N-Dubs What song are you singing first They say you can pick One of the tracks I want to hear it uh, Number one isn't it It's, <laughs> it's, it's got to be though It has to be It has to be No I think I've grown You know You know what the thing about End of songs is Is like When I'm when You know when you're not thinking of anything And you're just humming a song Yeah They're the songs that come in my head Okay It's always end of songs yeah. I've clocked it now <laughs> Like I only noticed it Since they, I got asked to do the tour with them um, But yeah Obviously I've grown up with end ups um, I can remember Begging my mum and my dad to buy me the dappy hat. Of course, we all begging, did. begging, <laughs> and they took me down to the market, and we went, we went and got us this hat. And I don't think that hat ever came off my head. It's black, <laughs> white, and grey. But yeah, then now I'm on tour with them. It's it's super surreal. Surreal. Yeah, I'm super happy. Yeah, about it. mine was Barking Market where I got my dappy hat from. Yeah. I don't think it was too popular for me, but we'll part that. We'll part that to the side. <laughs> You're here, so you know we got to talk about Love Island. Of course. Of course. Final week. Yeah, been there, done that. What are the emotions going through now? They're feeling inside. You reckon? Um, there's, there's a couple. So I know that I know that there's. Uh, I've not watched it this year. I haven't watched it. I'll be real. Um, but I have, I have seen it on Instagram and everything. You don't really need to yeah. watch it these days to actually know what's going on. Mm. But it seems like there's certain people who are now, like, oh, we're so happy. <laughs> We're all good now. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I never should have doubted you. Blah, blah, blah. We're the strongest in it. So like, people are sort of getting the game show I, like mentality. I think coming back into it. People are like, oh wait, right? We we actually we're really close to the final now. Like, I want to try and secure that twenty five k. I can smell the PLT deal from. <laughs> it's a week away. But do you know what I mean? So there's that emotion. But then for me, I think the main emotion that I was feeling was, was I was I was bored, man. Really? Yeah. Like, Itching to get out. Sort yeah, of because like you, you've done it gets it gets it gets boring eventually. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of drama going around. Um, but yeah, I think on the final week, I was like, oh, wow, I just can't wait to get out now. Mm. Uh, there was I was sort of just camping out on the day beds, and there was I was getting told to get up and do stuff. Like <laughs> just there with my hoodie, pulling the drawstrings, just like chilling. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's so wicked when you get that insight from where it is, because obviously we just see an hour snapshot of your whole. Mm. Day. There must yeah. be a lot of waiting around and all of that it's sort of stuff. It's a lot. You know, you know what's a lot is the games. That's oh, really? Lot. I can remember the first game. I can't remember. Oh, what was it? Oh, the one with like suitcases or something. Yeah. Anyway, we did that and we were stood in the sun for like five, four, five, Ooh. six hours. I don't even know. It was but so long. Six hours to do a game, do you know? Yeah. <laughs> for, which is going to be shown for 20 seconds to, yeah. for everyone to say, oh, that was a crap game. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got sunburned and it's in heat stroke. <laughs> like, come on, man. If you wasn't doing music, would you, and you got given the chance, if you wasn't doing music and you got given the chance, would you do the re-entering thing like how Adam's done? No, or no, man. You wouldn't? No, I think, no, once you've done it, you've done it. And I feel like I've done it. And yeah. I had a great time when I was on there. Um, and I've had fun since. Like, I, I don't think it's, it's it's a part of it's a part of my life, but it's not like what I really want to do. I was asked to go on the show. It was never mm -hmm. like I applied to go wanted on to. there and wanted to do it. It was just, I was asked at 19 years old. And they were like, do you want to go on an island with a load of girls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, is, ask any other 19-year-old. <laughs> I guarantee most of them are going to say yeah. Say the so, same thing. 
but yeah, I I I I wouldn't go back on again. I don't think. Um, maybe to perform. I'll come oh, on. Yes. Come on, man. That's got to happen. I hope, I hope you're listening. <laughs> so now we need listening. a booking agent and I'd be for. We need the Love Island booking agent to book us for the performance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next season. No, let me do a couple more singles, build that brand up yeah. a bit, and then maybe we'll go back in. How do you find it? Do you find more people know you for music now than Love Island? And do you like it that way? Or yeah. is it the other way around? It is now becoming. Well, even if they knew me from Love Island before, it's now they recognize me as a, a musician, which is all I've ever wanted. Like, it's not. A not not in the to forget um love island yeah like, i'm not sh ashamed of that whatsoever but i've always wanted to be known for something that i actually do and i actually love um if you would have even on the interviews when they asked me before on the show like what's your dream job it was always a musician it was always a it was always a singer it's always been like the the one thing i've wanted so to be known for the one thing you've always wanted like, that's, that's the most fulfilling thing ever do you know what i mean yeah. and as long as i'm i don't really want i'm not chasing accolades i'm not chasing chart position i mean yeah but uh, but you know what i mean you kind of are but at the same time all that like, the biggest focus and the biggest goal for me is generally to just be in and around music and and earning from music for the rest of my life do you know what i mean as long as i can call myself a musician for the rest of my life i feel like i'm, I'm successful i'm happy yeah, absolutely good all right then wicked man are you cool to stick around for a bit i've got a little bit of a game for you oh, let's stick go. around the court you love games yeah i love a game. apart from the ones in the sun for six hours yeah <laughs> i love this game <laughs> Yeah, I hate really? that game though. I hate that game. <laughs> See, Wes, you're a bit of a fly guy too. Obviously, you've come today, the drip, the trims, everything's <laughs> looking fresh. So I wanted to put you to the test. Yeah. I've got a bunch of headlines and you need to tell me if they're fly, aka cool, and if they're true, or if it's deny, completely false. Yeah, yeah. You good? If it's fly, or if it's deny. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, headline number one. Before Love Island, Wes Nelson auditioned several times to be on X Factor. Fly or deny? Deny. Wait, wait, is that a headline? <laughs> is that a real headline? You tell me. No, that's that's, that's not that's not true. <laughs> no, I barely even sang for my parents. My parents would only ever overhear me like when is I was it? in the shower. Was you yeah. shy? I was so shy. I was so, so shy until recent years um, that I actually became confident. And, and as soon as I did, I was just like, right, let's go then. Let's get cracking. Good time. Sick. All right, next headline. Wes Nelson reveals that even though he travels on a private jet sometimes, he hasn't forgot about the simple luxuries like a bar of Cadbury's dairy milk in the bath. <laughs> Fly or deny? It's deny. <laughs> deny. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is deny. I don't even like Cadbury's. <laughs> I, feel, I don't. <laughs> I'm not even a chocolate guy. I don't like that. Okay, next one. Wes Nelson nearly had a diss track written about him by Chunks after <laughs> posting a picture with Maya Jama. Fly or deny? <laughs> Like, joking. <laughs> <laughs> joking. You said no, it, not me. No, no, it's deny. It's deny. <laughs> no, come on, Chunks, that's my brother. I was talking to you yesterday. <laughs> All right, then, cool. And finally, Wes Nelson's jumping on the track with everybody's favorite mysterious guy, Peter Andre. That is deny. Oh, what would you do though? I, I don't know. I don't feel like our music <laughs> is the same, is, is on the same sort of. Sort of pocket, vibe, pocket. Vibe. pocket. But I did work with him. I did work with him. Yeah. Okay, when? It was not long ago, I think. Okay. You know, he's. I think he's doing. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to. Do it. But yeah, he's doing. He's doing a film, and he was asking uh, me and Ayo to come down and help him with some writing and some melodies oh, and nice. bits and pieces. So okay. come on, it's Peter Andre, man. I just thought, come on, it's, it's got to be done. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But talk to me. What's What's next? What's happening? Obviously, singles out. What are your plans, bro? Um. Obviously, I'm in release mode right now, so obviously pushing the song and and, and getting out there and, and performing it and, and testing the testing the waters really with it. But um, the plan is always as it is: just write more music, get more singles out, um, and and just keep things moving in the right direction for me. This is all it's, it's all what I've wanted for forever, and I think I've, I've got to be calculated in in everything that I do. And yeah, just more singles, get it out, be consistent because. Mm. And man, I, I didn't release for so long. <laughs> um, so yeah, be consistent um, and, and just really keep the ball moving. Get ready for this tour and uh, hopefully blow some socks off. Wicked. And find our way to Ibiza as well because you deserve and it. And find the way to Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Nelson, everybody? <laughs>